This four-letter acronym is one of the most common terms being tossed around the cryptoverse, up there with the likes of HODL and FOMO. That's right, we're talking about DYOR. You see that? DYOR. So we mentioned DYOR a bazillion times in our videos, but today we're gonna give you an idea of what we actually mean. Research? What kind of research? So without further ado, let's dive into the research that we keep talking about. Let's get into it. So say a new project has caught your attention, whether due to the hype on social media or a recommendation from a friend. One of the best places to start your research is the project's website. A project's website can tell you a lot of things. For instance, if you notice a website with spelling mistakes, bad grammar, or awkward formatting, I mean, that will signal that something fishy is going on, right? Okay, so then the website's feel and appearance not only act as a good first litmus test for a project, but also contain useful resources like the white paper, which goes in depth into what the project is about. So the white paper explains the technology and tells potential investors how the cryptocurrency came to be and highlights its purpose. So basically, it's a pitch to you, the prospective investor. White papers will also give you the roadmap of the project to help you understand what they want to achieve over time. It's common, however, for some projects to have unrealistic goals and projections, but a well thought out project will set reasonable goals. So when reading through a white paper, take note of the problem the project is trying to solve, if any. Plus, are there projects already doing the same thing? And if there are, is it improving upon what is already there in the market. Also try to determine if the project's coin or token has utility because not all cryptocurrencies serve a practical purpose. On top of the project's purpose and roadmap, white papers provide you with the tokenomics of a coin or token. From the tokenomics, you will find out metrics like the maximum supply of the token, the allocation, distribution, vesting information, etc. Now, sometimes the white paper might be too technical for the average investor to understand, but that's all right. You don't need to understand every technical detail about the project, but knowing what the project's goals are, how they will achieve them, and also the team behind the project is very important. That's right, the team. So when reviewing the background information of a coin, it is essential to get to know the team and developers behind the project because at the end of the day for any project the people behind the scenes are the ones who are going to make things happen and determine if the project will be a success or not say you're reading a white paper going through a project's website and you get to the team section research each member through linkedin or just make a simple google search of their name you might find out more information about them on some website and this process might help you discover the team members past experiences especially in the crypto space if they do have experience in the space and have worked on other projects try to find out how the projects are doing are the projects successful or were they abandoned now it's also important that we mention that some projects have anonymous team members and while there have been a couple of successful projects with anonymous team members uh, you should generally be skeptical about this type of project that said, there are genuine reasons for staying anonymous in crypto, like for safety purposes or even to prevent potential regulatory action further down the line. So you'll have to consider whether the risk of investing in such projects is worth taking. Okay, moving on, it's also relevant to check partnerships and any entity that may have backed the token or coin. Associations with other prominent projects or well-regarded institutions are often signs of at least a trustworthy project, but do remember to verify these claims. Partnerships are usually displayed on the project's website and announced via social media, which brings us to the next point, scrutinize the project's social media channels. 
Depending on the project, you will commonly see its Twitter, Discord, Telegram, Reddit, and blog sites like Medium linked on the footer section of its website. So scrutinize each platform one by one and take note of the number of followers or members. In more interactive channels like Telegram and Discord, are the moderators answering questions posed by the community or are members getting ignored? Be extra careful, especially on platforms like Telegram, which is known to be a breeding ground for scammers. You might encounter scam artists posing as moderators and attempt to get you to give up your personal details or click on phishing links. Same for channels like Twitter and Reddit. What are fellow investors saying about the project? Keep in mind though that just because a coin or token may have an immense following and social buzz doesn't mean it is warranted. Projects are known to give out gifts to users who shill their tokens or coins. Okay, next, make sure to evaluate the cryptocurrency's market metrics. To check this information, visit the most trusted cryptocurrency aggregator by investors, CoinGecko. Once you get to the coins page, you can start by checking out its market capitalization, which shows you how much money has been invested into the project. So it is calculated by multiplying the price of the cryptocurrency by the total number of coins or tokens in circulation. It may be useful to compare to more established competitors to consider if its valuation makes sense. CoinGecko also provides the coin's trading volume. So trading volume is an important metric that investors use to see how often an asset is changing hands. Okay, next, how liquid is the asset? So liquidity may not only mean fewer fluctuations in the price of the asset, but also aids in the development of an exit strategy, making it easier to sell your holdings. Speaking of liquidity, one of the ways you can protect yourself from rug pulls is to check if the liquidity of the coin or token is locked and for how long. This provides confidence to the investors that the token developers will not run away with the liquidity money. Now, remember to also apply the same when interacting with liquidity pools in DEXs. Then, have you ever heard of honeypot scams? It's kind of like Hotel California. You can check in, but you can never check out for these tokens, which is why the chart usually looks like this. So to check if a token is a honeypot or not, Copy the token address, paste it on tools like honeypot.is. You should also pay attention to the supply metrics of the coin or token. Generally, there are three types of market supplies. That is total supply, circulating supply, and maximum supply. Now we have a video solely dedicated to tokenomics, which you can check out right here. Okay, then last but not least, remember to check out where the token is listed. Is it available on reputable exchanges? Prominent exchanges usually have more stringent requirements for listings in order to protect their customers and reputation. You could also check if the token is supported on popular hardware wallets, which are essential to safety and security in the long term. So what we have covered so far in this video is a good start to doing your own research, but note that we have barely scratched the surface. Smart investors combine fundamental, technical, and even on-chain analysis to make informed investment decisions. Now we understand that none of this stuff is easy, but it is totally necessary as the crypto industry is still young and characterized by enormous volatility and vulnerability. Naturally, not all your investments will be right on the money, but the more informed you are, the higher the chances of success. So be a smart investor and always DYOR. Now let us know in the comments how you do your research. And of course, remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on all our socials for future alpha. See ya.